Sounds move faster in water? We may need fish to get us to Mars. There was a robot in the 15th century? Science can make your brain hurt, but it can also be a blast. I'm Mike with List 25, and here are 25 fun facts about science. 25. Female sharks have thicker skin. The female of the species is not only deadlier than the male, but also harder to sink your teeth into. When sharks engage in mating, the male tends to hold himself in position by biting down on his partner. How romantic. So over time, females have grown thicker to cope with that nasty jaw action. This has been observed in blue sharks, for example. 24. Where did geometry come from? Geometry, or math based on shapes and angles and such, actually started way back in ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia. I'm talking 2000 BCE, at least. Historical evidence shows that this early form of geometry came in useful for measurements, not to mention construction and land surveys. The word geometry is derived from ancient Greek. That civilization named it after geo, as in earth, and metron, i.e. measure. 23. Antibiotics aren't always good. We'd be in a lot of trouble without antibiotics, right? That said, there is a downside to these medical miracles. Antibiotic resistance is known to happen if someone's popping pills without much of a reason, leading to bacteria changing and becoming resilient. They could be overdoing it with the medication, or the antibiotics aren't the proper solution for their issue. As ever, people, seek the best medical advice for anything that might be concerning you. Antibiotics are amazing, but they do have their limits. 22. Dragonfly Heart Shape just when we thought the art of love was dead in the animal kingdom, along comes Mr. Dragonfly. It starts during the species' mating ritual, when the male grabs hold of the female by the neck. Uh, stick with me or it gets more enchanting. This action creates a heart-shaped wheel effect that's weirdly charming to look at. 21. Forgetful squirrels are great for trees. Squirrels gather nuts and seeds, but they can be careless about storage arrangements. Burying them under the ground is a good idea, keeping them out of sight of the other hungry creatures. The trouble is, squirrels often forget that they've left them there. Can you believe this happens in approximately 60 to 80% of cases? The nature doesn't mind though, because new trees grow and flourish from the hidden seeds. 20. Sound travels faster through water. It sounds strange, literally, but the truth is, sound prefers water to air. Why? It's all to do with lightness versus density. The particles in water caused by vibrations means it's a dense environment in which sound can move around. Sound definitely travels through air, but there are fewer particles, hence less energy for the waves. It moves around four times faster below the surface than over it. 19. Seven minutes. That's the approximate amount of time it takes for someone to fall asleep, on average. If you're taking below five minutes to nod off, then you might have a problem. And if it's taking more than 20 minutes, you also have a potential issue. Why? Allow me to explain. Important sleep studies were carried out by William C. Demet from Stanford. <laughs> what a name. Demet helped establish healthy sleep times. Between 10 and 20 minutes is thought to be the sweet spot. If your sleep time is too low, it could mean you're sleep deprived. Too high, and you might be getting too much. 18. How fast is a tornado? Did you know a tornado can move as fast as 300 miles an hour, or in some cases, even faster? That's around three times the average of your regular tornado, so you don't have that much to worry about, perhaps. Although it is a tornado, so you should probably still worry. In 1999, one of these wild weather events was clocked in at 321 miles an hour, the fastest on record at Bridge Creek, Oklahoma. Whatever happens, when you see one of these things, you're gonna wanna run for cover no matter what the average speed is. 17. The wind doesn't make any noise. Well, okay, it does, but it needs to come in contact with something. The classic sound of wind whistling through the trees happens because of the trees, not the wind. It's categorized as an ELO in sound, and it ranges from humming to howling to all kinds of bizarre soundtracks in between. 16. Rain is a source of vitamins. Specifically, vitamin B12, which is good for your cells and has been linked to fighting cancer. I wouldn't recommend going outside and sticking your tongue out, however. You see, rain is vitamin-free when it falls from the sky. 
It needs to bounce off roofs and things before it collects all that natural goodness. And if you've seen the state of roofing in my neighborhood, you wouldn't want to walk under it, let alone drink from it. 15. A hurricane is really powerful. If you thought an atomic bomb was powerful, what do you hear the stats on hurricanes? A big enough storm contains enough energy for 10 of Mr. Oppenheimer's specials, and that's per second. We know this partly because of a crazy argument over which is tougher, a nuke or a hurricane. The situation was resolved by the NOAA, who went to the trouble of posting their answer on their website. It's a National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. For those who don't know. 14. Human blood is super salty. Almost as salty as seawater. In fact, there's a reported 98% match between the two fluids. This bloody good fact was discovered by René Canton, a French biologist working in 1897. We're saltier than movie popcorn inside due to our heritage. Before life on Earth learned to walk, it was busy swimming around the oceans. 13. Zebrafish on Mars No, this, this isn't the title of some 50s sci-fi movie, but an incredible scientific possibility. In 2021, findings were released from Queen's University in Belfast concerning these marine marvels, specifically their sleep pattern. Because humans have to go into hibernation on any potential deep space flight, they need to be protected against the ravages of time. Zebrafish seem to have this state of hibernation called torpor, or extreme lethargy, licked. Follow the ways of the zebrafish and we might be able to travel to the red planet a whole lot easier. 12. Coral reefs are predators? Don't coral reefs just sit there? They certainly don't. These epic formations under the sea are living things, a fact sometimes forgotten. So, what do they eat? Jellyfish, apparently. You've got to feel sorry for the sea's squidgiest life form as it brushes over the reef. For starters, its bell is suddenly caught by a praying series of polyps, or sucker-like things measuring between 1 and 10 millimeters on average. These then digest the poor jellyfish in a matter of minutes. 11. Liquid Iron Rain An umbrella won't do you any good if you happen to be on WASP-76b, which is something known as an exoplanet. Exoplanets exist outside our solar system, and 76b is a big one. It's actually been compared to Jupiter in size, lying approximately 390 light years away. Like Jupiter, WASP-76b is made of gas, is incredibly hot, and is reportedly pelted with rain made of molten iron. Experts observed this eye-popping display in 2020. 10. The Molecule Kid Sometimes amazing scientific discoveries happen in the unlikeliest of circumstances. Clara Lazen proposed a new type of molecule called tetranitrotoxicarbon in 2012. Yes, you can apparently create your own molecules, provided you have the know-how and technology to back them up. If that didn't sound unlikely enough, uh, where do you hear Clara's age? She came up with this thing while she was in the fifth grade. So around 10. 9. The first ever robot? How old would you say robots are? The word robot was dreamt up by Karol Čapek, a playwright in Czechoslovakia in the early 20th century. But what we think of as robot goes back even further to the late 15th century, in the times of Leonardo da Vinci. Luckily for us, da Vinci illustrated his ideas and inventions, some of which were realized and well, some of them not. He designed a mechanical man resembling a knight in armor. Did it work? Well, we don't actually have a time machine to go back and ask him. 8. Why we see in color We tend to take color vision for granted, but there's a specific reason why we see the way we do. Our eyes contain things called cones, located in our retinas. These photoreceptor cells take the light we see and zap the information to our brains, resulting in a glorious color effect. Meanwhile, an animal, like say a raccoon, has what's known as monochromat vision, i.e. black and white. So while they can't enjoy the color spectrum, they do have excellent night vision. 7. Diamonds are forever? It's a great title, but sadly not accurate. I'm sorry, Mr. Bond. Diamonds aren't as tough as they look and can degrade just like anything else. Give it enough time and your sparkling diamond will turn into a lump of graphite. You'll be pleased to hear that this takes a long time, in, unless you're hitting it with a laser or something. 6. The truth about pumice stones Pumice can be overlooked as a material because we connect it with scraping dead skin off our feet. I mean, who wants to think about that? 
But you should look closer at pumice because it has a special quality. It's low density and is full of air holes created when lava cools. Because of this, it can float, which is more than you can say for other rocks. For such a light and delicate thing to emerge from a volcano is quite an achievement. Five, trees predict climate change. You probably already know that when you cut into a tree, you see rings. And from those rings, you could work out how old the tree is. Well, you can also use these rings as a tracker of climate change. Did you know that a tree's rings are thin in cold, dry weathers and spaced apart when it's warm and moist? Experts get an idea of what the weather was like years back, thanks to a regular old tree. Four, nature's internet. When something grows out of the ground, we know there's a lot going on below ground too. Roots and threads growing and acting like a bunch of little fiber optic cables. The comparison is greater than you think with nutrients and even communication signals passed along the threads. You'll find this with fungi, which use mycelium as sort of an internet. Experts call it the wood wide web. <laughs> Something to think about next time you're picking a mushroom. Three, how unique are snowflakes? They're as unique as it gets. The old expression about snowflakes being distinct from each other is true, it turns out. Conceivably, you might get some duplicates, but do you really want to be the one counting billions of snowflakes to reach that conclusion? Remember also that snowflakes fall to the ground, and this can affect their shape. They really are among the most unpredictable structures in a world where nature often repeats itself. Two, many of our medicines come from rainforests. Rainforests must be protected. However, we also need the forests to protect us. For example, the pacho has been used in herbal tea. This reportedly gives it an anti-inflammatory and antioxidant qualities. It's also thought to be effective in the treatment of cancer, though my advice as always is to consult experts as extensively as possible before putting anything into action. One, out of date atoms? Everything is made of atoms and you'd be surprised to hear the age of some of these things. It's estimated that certain atoms in the human body can be traced back an incredible 13.7 billion years. That's because of ingredients like hydrogen, which came from the all-important Big Bang. It's believed that two out of every three atoms are connected to the Big Bang. But I need to put that in context, however. Each human is composed of approximately 7 billion 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 atoms. Our bodies are tied up with the origins of the universe. But this only takes up a tiny part of our overall makeup. And well, that's it for our rundown of fun facts about science. Did you already know any of them? In that case, you wanna check out our video on shocking science predictions. Nothing is certain in this cosmos. Well, you know, apart from me being back soon with a whole new video. <laughs> I'll catch you guys later.